Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of all my uncoloured books that I have in my colouring book collection. Um, yeah, there's a lot in this one, so let's get going. So the first one I have is the Tanglewood Art Collection. Oh, I won't put my light on, hang on a sec. Let's put that on. Better. Uh, by Jessica Palmer. This is 20 cutter drawings to colour. Now, I did buy this off of somebody and they have done one or two pictures in it. Um, I haven't actually done anything in it, obviously. This is the one the person did. I think it's lovely. Uh, but I will do something in there. I'm just not up to that person's standard, sadly. Um, the next one, these are the oversized books, is the Aquarium uh, Marine Creatures to Colour. My dad actually bought me this one. It's very thin doodly, as you can see. Put it in the range. I do like it, though. I might do the, the um, yeah, I might do. Seahorses. Right, so that's those two. Let me just go and get a big stack of the books and put these two away and we'll crack on. Okay, let me just move that out of the way because it's getting in my way. That's it. Next I have Anne Stokes Fantasy Colouring Book. I believe I bought this off of somebody on one of the Facebook's selling groups. Stunning pictures. Oh, I love that. I bet, yeah. You know, like I said, if you want to see me colouring any of these books that I am showing you, let me know um, in the comments below and I will make a list of those I need to do. Then I've got the Curiosity Shop colouring book by Chris Price. Um, this is so detailed. I can't, but this is probably why I haven't done one in it. He also did the Sweet Shop, but I've actually done one in that book, <laughs> amazingly. <laughs> But I do, I think the, the artwork's stunning, so. Now that I have got Enid Blyton's Famous Five Classic Colouring Book. So this is really mostly, you get the patterns, obviously. Um, but it's the front covers to uh, one set of editions of the book. So they're actually lovely. The paper's not too bad. It's not hugely thick, but it's not really thin paper either. So that that's really nice. I have the Disneyland Park colouring book. Now I got this because I have been to uh, Dis Disneyland in California and obviously uh, both parks because there's two. There's Disneyland and then there's Disneyland's California Adventure and so it holds great memories for me so I do like this book. I will colour in it at some point. Little mini there. It does give me memories of when I went to Disneyland, to be fair. On to a few hardbacks I've got now. I have got Maria Trolley's Drum Reese. Um, I haven't coloured it yet at all. I do like this book. I think it's very pretty. I might have to do something in this very soon. And I've got her best of, which is Universe. Um, so it's some favourites and some new illustrations. So, yeah, so I can always have another go if it's one I've done before. I like that little one. They're just such beautiful illustrations. Not always complicated. Some of them are more complicated than others. What I like about her art style is that uh, some of them are really easy and some of them are a bit more complicated. So it depends on what you as an artist want to do. Then I've got two Hannah Carls and I haven't coloured in yet. Jewellery box. I'm just not very good at doing gems. I know it doesn't really matter. Oh, I love that fan though. I might have to do that one with just glitter gel pens. That's, I just love her ladies, they're so gorgeous. I love her books. I don't have her best of though. I have to get that at some point. And I haven't coloured in Spirit Animals yet. But, oh, let's see, now that's the one I'm most likely to do because I do have a bit of a thing for unicorns. I love them. So you could do them, because although they are the person and then their spirit animal, you could do them either as a double page spread or as an individual. I'll probably do them individually, but make a note of what pencils and colours I've used so that I can go back and do the same page using the same sort of colours. But 
so there's that one so that's that pile let's get some more next um i've got color therapy enchanted fairies 64 amazing designs i got this in the charity shop so it was only 1.99 so there is again detailed ones and less detailed pictures sorry i am tired today so there's that one and I've got uh, the Enchanted Fairy colouring book by Molly Harrison. This is grayscale. I love Molly Harrison. In fact, I've got to be honest that I, one of her book, one of her books, was the first one I ever bought. So yeah, I just haven't got round to doing it yet. That's all. So that's that one. Uh, then I have uh, The Hidden Spirits of the Enchanted Forest by Forest Diver. Uh, this is one of the earliest books I've bought, but it's so detailed. Um, I thought it would be really cute to have, and it is, but look at the detail. That's not too bad. But some of the detail is just so... It's just... It's intimidating. I'm going to admit it, I get very intimidated. But then there's also simple books I haven't coloured in either, and I don't know why. So there you go. I've got a Wonder Woman colouring book. In fact, I've got two Wonder Woman colouring books. This is the first one I've got, which very cartoony pictures, not like the cover at all. But then I quite like that because it's nice and simple. It's not too complicated. So there's that one. I love Wonder Woman. And then I've got the DC Comics Wonder Woman colouring book which is more like pages from the actual comic. You've got some more papers as well. Like, quite like that. Sadly, it is double-sided though. But yeah, it's good. Oh, this next book, I love this next book. I don't know. And this is Lola's Ladies. This is 1930s fashions. So Lola was a fashion designer in the 30s and I think one of her children put this together with her original sketches and then has done the backgrounds like that absolutely stunning and some more papers but some just really nice day fashions and oh see this was this is Lola Lola Mayer Hewish Hewish and this is of her daughters, Vicky and Mary. And I it, think it says on the back about, yeah, she was a fashion artist. Eileen's dress, Eileen's dress shop in Oakland, California. Yeah, I think that was just a lovely idea and the, they are absolutely stunning. Then I've got Dear Lennon's The Buns. Can I look again? I haven't coloured this one. The paper's really thin. But, oh, they are so adorable. But very detailed but i will do some i think it's a gorgeous book another tarot book here this is the tarot character but this was from the works i believe i've actually taken the labels off though now this one has writing on the back of the pages explaining what the cards are about which is really interesting which does mean that of course you could use markers in it not necessarily but you could that's a nice one. That one. And then the next one I have got is William Shakespeare, an adult colouring book. I, I know I saw this on somebody's channel. I thought I have to have that because being a theatre nerd, theatre girl, I love anything to do with Shakespeare and the quotes. Yeah, they're quite... Um, wallpaper but there's just something nice about them as well with the quotes in it and thou and I are too wise to woo peaceably oh, I love that Midsummer Night's Dream that's so beautiful yeah so lots of nice Shakespearean quotes then. Then the next one is uh, Secret New York by Zoe de la Cassas. I have not, I have been to New York, funnily enough. 
I've seen the flat iron myself. I like this is like the various clothing and the bridge and the Statue of Liberty. And yeah, I mean, I have been to New York. It was a long time ago. I loved New York. It was a great, I really loved the place. So that's a nice one. That's why I got it. Then I have a couple of Bennett Kleins. I have kind of my sketchbook, which I believe is the original one. And yeah, I got this thinking, yeah, I'll colour that because I love his pictures. But then I got it and I look at the detail and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not. Not yet. But I like that one though. <laughs> his designs are so fantastical. And then I have um, Colour My Sketchbook Bloom, which is the flower one, Strange Flowers, which I really like this. Look at that, stunning. These I really like. I mean, these aren't as intimidating, I don't think. I like that one, the, the flower, the tea, sort of tea rose thing and an ice cream cone. And um, yeah, no, I just like, I just like the idea of it. So yeah. The next few are all Kirby Rosanne's. Now I've only coloured into Kirby Rosanne's books and that is simply because they are very intimidating and the only reason I haven't coloured in any of these ones is simply because I've got a whip in one and I want to finish that whip before I start another one. So I do have uh, Anamorphia. Not my favourite sort of subject because I'm not big on colouring animals but like that one I could see me doing because of all the little bits. And the fish are quite nice though I wouldn't I know it says doodle more crows. I don't doodle. I cannot draw to save my flame in life, so. When Jennifer gets older, if she wants to doodle in those pages, she can. Excuse me, yawning at you. I, I don't know why, but today I just can't stop yawning. Um, then I do have uh, Phantomorphia. I do like this book. I know, it, again, you've got all the, I like that one. You've got to find all the pieces. Do you know what? That might be a good one to do this month because I could use like golden orange glitter gel pens actually on the pumpkin itself. I'm gonna keep this one out and I'm gonna try and do that one this month. That's a good one to do as well. Because, you know, and again, that one, they're quite Halloween-y pictures in this book. I love that. Now I know you can get an omnibus of both that and uh, Geomorphia uh, and it makes it a bigger book. I'm gonna put that to one side because I'm gonna have a go at that. So there's me saying I'm not going to colour in it because I haven't finished the one I've got, but I am going to colour in it. So, uh, Geomorphia. I think I ordered this from a, a seller on Amazon. Again, I like this one. So much stuff on it though. Again, very detailed. Worlds within worlds. I, I mean, again, it's just so beautiful. His images. That's I like that one. Then I have Fragile Worlds. There is a picture in here I want to do. Um, and I know how I want to do it. I just need to practice to get it the way I want it to look. So I will and then I'll do it. But I, I do love this one. I think it's the pictures are so stunning in this. And I also have Mythic Mythic World. I know he's got another one out, I haven't got that one yet. I like I like these sort of mythical type things. I think they're fascinating and I love them to bits. Especially this Egyptian one here. Because <laughs> I love anything to do with ancient Egypt. Yeah. Love it. Right, that's that stack. I'm gonna get some more. Okay, next pile. Oh, there's going to be another two piles after this, I think, looking at it. Oh. So I told you I had a lot of uncolored books. Um, so this is a adult colouring book of the city of Bristol, which is where I was born in the um, UK. And this is the Church of St Mary Redcliffe in the background. And I was really disappointed in this book. I've kept it just simply because it's of Bristol. But they're so tiny. The drawings are absolutely beautiful. But the pictures themselves need to be bigger on the page. So, 
but I like it as, as just some artwork of Bristol even if I never colour it it's just a nice sort of drawings then I have the Peter Rabbit colouring book I have not done a single thing in this one yet again I think it's beautiful and I do want to, to colour in it maybe with the watercolours because I like the way they look but as you can tell this is video number two of three I've got a lot of colouring books uh, this one is a tattoo colouring book this was from Lidl's it was $1.99 and yeah it's getting double sided but it's not the end of the world we can manage um, water-based markers would be all right but pencils would be good too I do like it it's really nice I like this one then I have the Disney classics Bambi a4 coloring pad so this is on really thick brilliant watercolor paper and it's like there's two of each as well which is great because that means you can practice on one and if it doesn't work out you can and can do it again so you've got 24 12 designs and it's really good watercolor paint paper as well now the next stack that i've got here which is part of that stack that makes no sense are all my relax with art books that i haven't colored in and there's quite a few of them not as many as color in heaven but there's still quite a few the first one is Animal Magic. Now this one is actually issue 12 of the specials. This was the very first uh, one I bought, I think. It's very zen, zen doodly, which is probably why I've never actually coloured it. Although I'm sure I will at some point. I do like that little dog, the Scotty dog. I might do him at some point. The next one's called uh, Home Sweet Home. I like that caravan, the gypsy caravan, the boats. Yeah, I do like some of their designs. This is quite one of the quite nice ones. I like that. Ugh. Then I've got Enchanted. So this is all like unicorns and fantasy art, which I love. The dragon one's nice. Like that one. Then I have a transport. So a transport is literally what it says on the tin. So boats, balloons, cars, caravans, trains, elephants, buses, bikes. That's beautiful. That's a nice one. So you can see. So these are the holiday specials and they do publish quarterly at the moment so the next one is the power of love this one has a shiny cover i don't know why they did that it's only this book they've done it with so it's obviously their summer one but it's really nice oh that's cute with the coffees land of love What's that one? then we have holidays in the sun I was in, uh, on a holiday in the sun in Tenerife right now where I love you. That's a nice, nice one. So all different types of holidays again, not like people like to do. Here, here comes the sun. I actually quite like that picture. I might have to do that next year. Right, well. uh, the last of the holiday ones is Angels, Fairies and Unicorns. Again, this is one of the shiny covers. So again, not too detailed. Actually, really nice pictures in here that's a nice one there as you can see yeah now we're on to the normal monthly issue or full weekly issue I don't know there's a load of these so this one is issue 73 77 so as you can see I either haven't bought them all or I've coloured in some of them and they're on the different chain. The notebook belongs to and I like the way that they have not only pictures of people and things but they also have like patterns like this one if you can see it. I'm not sure what it's coming out like because it's quite light 
Oh, I've got itchy nose. And then this is issue 78. I like that one. So you get lovely mandalas like this one as well. And this is 79, as you can see, 79. Because <laughs> I haven't coloured in it yet. Oh, I like that one. So they, they are really nice pictures. It's just, I have so much colour in it. It's so different to difficult to choose sometimes. It's another autumn one. It's nice actually. Now, I see I quite like that with the movie theatre or the theatre one night only coming soon. I like I like things like that. Very nice. That's that. This one is issue 90. That's quite nice, the fashions. I like that's a nice simple mandala to colour. Yeah, 91. And I know that there are people who buy these books and they colour them cover to cover and they do them all in, in a month. But I don't think they colour a lot of other company books. I like that, that's quite nice. I like those eggs. They're Fabergé. Uh, this one is number 94. I don't know if they're in the right order, they should be, but. Go. That's a nice one. Ninety seven. A lot, isn't there? One hundred and three. So they're not in the right order. This is 102. That dragon's cute, mine, isn't he? I'm not a big dragon person, but I like the baby dragon ones more. Nice mandala. I should just pull them all out and just colour like the mandalas just to get a picture done. <laughs> this one is... I'm not worried about them being in the right order. 104. Hundred and six. I haven't bought one recently, other than the Halloween special, another Egyptian one. Hundred and seven. One hundred and eight. I like that one. That's pretty. That's nice as well, the fish. And the last one of the Relax with Arts is issue one hundred and nine. This is the last one I've actually bought. I haven't bought another one since. I don't know what number they're on now. It's only one hundred and ten or eleven. It wasn't that long ago. So. Make yourself proud. Right, that's that stack. Can we get some more? Next, I have coloring. A couple of times here. Coloring book cafes, seaside life. This was a present from Paul. I love sea because I. Lo you know how much I love the seaside. But again, I've just not coloured in it. I love being close to the, to the sea. It's one of my favourite places. And then I have also uh, the Big Eyed Girl Colouring Book by Colouring Book Cafe because I love this cover. Uh, there it is. And they are really cute. So they do tend to do the small square ones. I don't know why. I'd rather have two sets of the big ones. Next I have 
the Harry Potter Magical Creatures. This is the only ha Harry Potter book I got, and I got it because it was in uh, W.H. Smith, one, buy one get one half price, half price, and I bought it when I was going on holiday, thinking I could colour on this when I'm in holiday. And I did, and it's not that I'm not a Harry Potter fan, I, I love the books, I've seen some of the films, I haven't seen them all, I'll be honest. But it's not one of those things where I'm mad on it like some people are. And I don't have a problem with people being mad on it, it's entirely up to them. Then I've got Enchanting Nature, Peaceful Artwork, inspired by, inspired by the Natural World. This paper's really, really thin. So if you're using any kind of marker on it, you're definitely going to need some... <laughs> that giraffe makes me laugh. Definitely going to need some paper under it, some wallpaper style ones. All right for your gel pens though. Yeah. I did start using it as a test book, but I haven't actually coloured in it properly. Next lot are all my uh, Creative Haven colouring books. So I have uh, Wizard of Oz. And this one is by Marty Noble. Now I love Marty Noble's designs. And the question is whether this follows the book or the film. It looks like it follows the book. But that, you know, but on the cover they've got her wearing the red shoes rather than the silver slippers. And that's, that's fine. Well, most people know them as the ruby slippers, not the silver slippers, so. And I've got this, I love this one. Dazzling Diner Designs. Because it's all very, very 50s by Jessica Mazarikovic. Look at that. See, I love anything to do with the 50s and this is all very, very 1950s. Love it. Mom's Diner. I've got Art Deco Egyptian Designs. This is really detailed, probably why I haven't touched this one. But they are beautiful, look at them. Then I've got the Jazz Age Fashions. This again, I love this because it's vintage. Fashions. Love it. And I've got vintage hand fans. These are all sideways, if I remember rightly, like that. And very detailed, but so, so pretty. Look at them. I have then got the fabulous fashions of the 50s. That's a nice one. And then I've got Shall We Dance. This one is really intense and it actually says it's insanely intricate. I bought this when my dance teacher died. I heard my, when my dance teacher died and as you can see how mad it is. It is like that and I, was, I, and I didn't know it was going to be as bad as this. So It's nice though. It is nice. One day I will colour in it. And then we've got uh, Fabulous Fashions of the 80s. Of course I've got to have the 80s book because, you know, I grew up in the 80s and... Oh God, that's the worst trend of the 80s, shell suits. <laughs> I love it though. We had such bright colours and fun in the 80s. Uh, then I have uh, Enchanted Fairies. This is Barbara Lanza. Again, these ones aren't too bad. I just, and again, I bought it because they look gorgeous. And it's just sat there on my shelf since I got it. Because, you know what, I'm an idiot. But collecting colouring books and colouring and colouring books are two different hobbies. So it's collecting supplies as well. The Celtic Fantasy. Love it. I love that tree. And then I have uh, Main Street colouring book. I just love this. I like the idea of it. Vintage vinyl, record music and memorabilia. I love it. That's fab. Sweet shop. Travel agents. Furniture shop. Wine shop a barbershop and so on and then you've got the movie theatre oh, 
house of cheese I could live without that I don't like cheese I'm a weird person apparently then I've got tessellation patterns I do like stuff this is John Wick I love this sort of thing it's hard work on the eyes but I do pick, pick two or three maybe four colors you go to town and I've also got oops dimensions I think I bought this one on holiday when I had to go put it on holiday to take with me. Was that that one or tessellations? I'm not sure which. They have colours in it. Love John Wick. And then I got the witchcraft colouring book because obviously I love anything to do with witchcraft. This is by uh, Jessica Markovic again. Um, I love anything spiritual, witchy. Very nice. The last two books are still by Dover, but they are. Oh, sorry, tell I last three. Uh, Dover colouring books, and I've got The Fashions of the Roaring Twenties. Tom Tierney did a lot of books in the 80s, 70s, 70s, I think, of movie star dolls, paper dolls. He did a Marilyn one. And absolutely love it. And I love these styles. That's quite Marilyn-esque, the, the, the face there, she was quite Marilyn-esque. Obviously Marilyn was the 50s, but she did start in some Like It Hot. I just love these designs. Beautiful. Then we have Favourite Ballets. Again, it's a dance one. I love the fact that it does tell you a bit about like, the Firebird, look at that. and. Uh, so on like Cinderella, Nutcracker. I've seen Nutcracker. I'd love to see some more ballet because I think the way they dance is just beautiful. And the last one is tarot designs, <laughs> of course. And you can tell what my, my interests are. I really like them. Again, this would have to be done in pencil because they're all double sided, but still nice though. The hermit's me. Uh, there we go. Right, I'll get some more now. Sorry. I have managed to get all the books out now. Um, so I've got one huge stack. So let's have a look. So this is by Luke Lloyd. It's called Zodiac Pentagram. So as you can tell, it's all Zodiac, spiritual stuff, pentagrams, stars. <laughs> and of course the Zodiacs. I love that one actually, the Celtic Knot. Then I've got uh, Fairies, Grayscale book by Christine Caron. I have not coloured in this, as you can see. Let me just get this back right. There we are. I love this book. I think they're so beautiful. That's a nice one. I have the best of the 80s colour book. Oh yeah I do. Oh yeah. I have had to get this one. There's Madonna and there's have the Hoff. So Back to the Future. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know all of them. I didn't watch all the films. Top Gun. I don't know. Uh, Ferris Bueller. don't know. Day Dancing obviously. And some of them are bands. Oh Princess Diana. Roller skate. Boy George. The Hoff. Where's the beef? Mad honor. Oh, I just love it. I think it's fab. Rubik's Cubes. Anything to do with the 80s. I love. I'm not going to pronounce this one because I can't, but it's uh, the Thomas Tolic Tomic book. Now, we all know how detailed these are. Now, I have his other book. And I have done one in it and I loved colouring it. It took me a long time but I did do it so I know I can do the really detailed pages when I put my mind to it so I will have to hit some of them soon. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, oh I remember when Hollywood screen stars nostalgic scenes from colour from yesterday so we've got Elvis on the cover I'm sure Marilyn is in here somewhere. Uh, that is Jean Harlow Oh, I'm gonna have to have a look now. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she was. Clark Gable. 
Let me just have a quick flick, see if I can find the Marilyn. I found it. Here's the Marilyn one. This is um, on the set of Niagara, which is really cool because normally you get a picture of Marilyn, it's the seven year skirt scene. Let's be honest, it is. So to get something from Niagara is really, really cool. So I need to colour that one in at some point. Yeah. It's a lovely one of Jean Harlow in there and Judy Garland uh, in Meet Me in St. Louis. Then we've got Dainty Damsels Valentine Collection by JN Sheets. Again, I love this, but I've never done it. So I will be doing one of this for Valentine's Day next year, I think. They're gorgeous. Then I've got Lost in London. This is a book I picked up on one of my trips to London in a gift shop by near the hotel. And they're just flat pictures, but they're great little areas. Like you've got the balloons there. Camden is, is nice. They probably do Camden because Camden is very, very colourful. So, yeah, that one. We've got uh, Deborah Muller's Artsy Girls. So, as you can see, not all my Deborah Muller's are together. They're all over the place. Um, I like this one. Oh, I'll do one in that soon. I love Deborah Muller. Usually if I'm doing a PDF, it is one of hers. Then I've got uh, Stained Glass Tiffany Windows by Sasha and Satch Deva. This is not, sadly, the um, colour number one. So I will do it. Yeah. It's nice. Use my markers in there. It's just being brave enough to have a go. And I will. Then I have 50 Splendid Princesses. This is Camellia Angel Cover. This is a bit more different for her. So this is the princess from the Frog Prince and some of them have different names. Beautiful. I like that one with the dragon. Very pretty. But never, yeah, never coloured it. Next one I've got is 50 Mythical Creatures, Amazing Mythical Creatures. Again, it's Camellia Angel Cove. My mum bought me this one for Christmas. Mum and Dad, Sea Serpent, Unicorn, a Minotaur, Troll, a Deer Woman, Basilisk, so on. It's not one I would have picked up myself. Oh, I like Pegasus. It's beautiful, though. But, uh, yeah, I like that. Then I do have one... Um, uh, uh, Edwina McNamee which is Dreamlings 2. I have coloured in Dreamlings 1. And I do like these books. I like the fact you get a black set of pages and a white, you know, a background set. I like the apples. So two sets, um, me and Jen can share that one. <laughs> then I've got Yam Puff Stuff, a kawaii colouring book. I love these, they're so cute, so simple to do. Why I haven't done one, I don't know. I really don't. And then I have got another Yam Puff one. This is uh, the Chibi Zodiac. Because of course I've got to have a Chibi Zodiac book. That is so nice. That's me, Cancer. They are absolutely adorable. Next I have Chibi Princesses by Demita Victoria. This has got two lots I believe. Yeah, double images which is great and it's like grayscale so I give one to Jennifer. Now I don't know who all the princesses are. I'm not big on princesses, I'd have to guess. Obviously I would know the princess from mermaids and stuff. I think. So, but I thought, I saw, again saw this on somebody's channel and thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I have no idea who some of these people are. I'm a bit funny like that. Then again, I have another one by Demeter Victoria. This is Classy Princesses. Now, again, it's two, uh, it's, they're one-sided pages. The thing with these, I think there's two of each in this one as well, is she puts these mad flowers in the background. I just want to colour the people. I tend to black out the backgrounds or paint over them. But there's another book that's very similar to this that I have coloured in. Then I have a couple of uh, kids' art magazines. The first one is uh, this one. They just called Art Draw and Create. But they mostly they have some cute pictures in them, and I thought 
I'll colour in some of them, I'll give some of them with Jennifer and pull them out and put them in a, a, a folder. So I've only got two. I usually buy these when we're going on holiday if we're staying in the UK and they usually have something on the cover like some pens or something. The pens aren't very good though. Um, but again they have some cute little, oh, so cute. I might just give these to Jennifer, I don't know. I might too. But I like some of the pictures you see, so that's why I've sort of kept them. Then I have got here Chibi Girls Coloring Book by April Amber. This is Chibi, the first volume she did. Again, two pictures of each girl so I can give uh, one set to Jennifer. What I've done when I'm done with it. If I'm ever done with it. And then I've got Ava Brown's Mermaids. Some of these are nice. Some of them I'm not so keen on, but again, I'm never going to run out of colouring pages because on top of all this, I've got thousands of PDFs as well that I've um, printed off. Next one is Colouring Chicks Grayscale Colouring Book. I like these. I've coloured some of these before and I've had freebies and they always look really good. It's just something about this. Such a light grayscale, but it's perfect. So I want to get some more of those type ones. What's this? This is the Fabulous 50s colouring book. This one I think was a disappointment. It's all right, but I mean, that one's all right. Well, it's not too bad. Actually, it's better than I remember it, so that's cool. I thought it was worse than this. I must have been imagining it. The Fabulous 50s. See, back in the 80s, we wanted to dress like it was the 50s or maybe the six, early 60s. 2023 people want to dress like it's the 1980s then I have the journey uh, coloring book this is apparently a companion to the journey oracle I got this off of um, the Facebook buy-in and selling group I just think they're really beautiful pictures I kind of like that cottage that's, oh. yeah, that's fine next is a very small one this is this one was it's just premium quality modern coloring book but it's very disappointed. It's very small, but I guess you could. But the, again, it's got very small pictures, almost like, yeah. I like the idea of the artwork and I'm glad there's nothing really gruesome on it. I don't know what I was expecting. I was, I guess I was expecting something a bit full more pages with the, I, I mean, more like this, but bigger. Um, next we have Nice Little Town, the first one, the only one I've got. I do like them actually, they're really cute. But again, I'm hopeless. Got Marilyn Monroe colouring book. Now I've got more than one Marilyn Monroe colouring book. In fact, I've got quite a few, I've got two or three, but they've all pretty much got the same pictures in it. Again, this is a small one. And again, I mean, that's a cartoony one. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's nothing like her. They're not too bad. You know, it's not that bad. That's actually based on a picture of a woman named Susan Griffith, who it was, it, well, she still is a Marilyn impersonator. And it's a bit, well, she was in various things in Pulp Fiction and she was in Quantum Leap. But yeah, so it's cute and I will colour in it. Then I've got a mandala colouring book. This again was from the works. I love picking up these. But I don't think it's particularly traditionally mandalas because they fill the page like that and they're not actually circular. So to me, a mandala should be like that. But there you go. It's all right now. Now this is an odd one. The camera's colouring book. Again, I think I wanted more from it than I got. But you know, it's like a roller flex. I have one of those. I was, I, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe people using cameras would have been nice, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not against it. It's still quite cute. Very simple. Polaroid one's quite good, actually. You could really do something nice with that because you could put the Polaroid colors on there and, and, and stuff, you know? Oh, that's Diana, that is. Got one of them and all. <laughs> Got Polaroid as well, so. I like that. So there's that one. 
near the end now everybody there's only a few more left the next one is another colour book I knew I had another one and this is the Zodiac colouring book I do love the paper in these books it's such good quality it really is it's almost like cardboard very nice Oh, they're going everywhere now. And then I have Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Mermaids. Again, I bought this off somebody on the internet, on the Facebook group, or off of, or it was on um, YouTube, and I messaged them. I, again, I like them. The paper's such nice quality. So I'm going to have to do something in one of these soon, I think. Very nice. That's cute. I mean, come on. The cuteness overload here. Next one is Princess Chibi Girl's coloring book. I don't know where I saw this. I saw this somewhere and I thought that's just too cute. Very thin paper though. But I, I do. They're really sweet little Chibi Girls. And the last two are two more Disney books, which are uh, the Disney Classics coloring book. Again, you do get your wallpapers in here, but like that. But there are some very nice pictures. That's why I bought it. I'm a bit fussy when it comes to Disney stuff, because I'm not... Don't get me wrong, I love Disney films and love watching them, but I'm not mad on Disney like some people are. But, I, I mean, if you said, oh, let's watch Frozen or let's watch Bambi, I'd happily watch it with you, very happily watch it with you. And the last one I've got is the one I really love, and that's the vintage poster collection that my brother gave me this for my birthday. Um, Jennifer wanted it and cried when I wouldn't have it because it was a present. Um, but yeah, I like this. Double-sided, which is a shame. There's some lovely pictures in here. A lot of Mickey. I like the Snow White one. Not Donald Duck. There we go. So those are all the uncoloured books I have in my colouring book collection. Let me know what you want. would like me to colour in on the channel next and I will happily, like I said, if there's more than one, make a list and we'll colour through them as we go. But yeah, so did anybody count? If anybody counted, even if it's just this one video, if anybody's counted, let me know. If you've counted them from all of them, just leave a comment with which one it is in each each video and I'll see you in the next colouring video hopefully very very soon bye everybody